All right, buckle up for a shocking ride through the dark side of showbiz. While the R Gang series brought laughter to audiences, it also had a haunting shadow lurking in the background. You see, many of the cast members who graced the silver screen alongside the Little Rascals met tragic ends in ways that would send shivers down your spine. From murder to plane crashes, suicide to motorcycle accidents, their lives took a disturbing turn after leaving the show. It's unsettling to think that behind those innocent smiles and mischievous antics lay such heartbreaking fates. Let's take a closer look at some of these shocking stories that highlight the eerie contrast between the joyous laughter they brought us on screen and the tragic outcomes they faced in reality. Let's talk about Norman Cheney, Norman Cheney's involvement in our gang, later known as the Little Rascals, began in 1929 when he was just 10 years old. He quickly became a fan favorite with his lovable and chubby appearance, earning him the nickname Chubby. Cheney's comedic timing and natural talent made him stand out among the young cast members. Cheney's character in Our Gang often found himself in humorous situations, showcasing his ability to bring laughter to audiences. His performances were well received and he became one of the most memorable members of the cast. After leaving the series, Cheney returned to his native Baltimore and attended public school. In spite of having a normal diet and regular exercise since childhood, he continued to gain weight and eventually topped 300 pounds, though he never grew beyond four feet, seven inches. His weight continued to increase, and it was discovered that he had a glandular ailment. In 1935, Cheney underwent treatment for the ailment at Johns Hopkins Hospital. His weight then dropped from over 300 pounds to less than 140 pounds. He became seriously ill from the stress on his body that the rapid weight loss caused, and he died from myocarditis on May 29, 1936, at age 21, and for those of you who don't know what myocarditis is, it's the inflammation of the heart muscle. The inflammation can reduce the heart's ability to pump blood. He was the first of the regular Our Gang alumni to die. Cheney was buried in Baltimore Cemetery in his hometown of Baltimore, Maryland. His grave remained unmarked for 76 years because his mother was not able to afford a marker for him or herself. Even though he was paid a weekly salary for his movie appearances, he never received any royalties or residuals for the film's subsequent uses. An online fundraising drive led by Detroit rock musician Meikle raised $4,500 for headstones to be placed at the graves of both Shaney and his mother. And that's the sad and tragic outcome of the lovable R Gang slash Little Rascals character, affectionately known as Chubby. Darla Hood a talented and beloved child actress born on November 8, 1931 in Leedy, Oklahoma, Darla began her career at a young age. She quickly gained recognition for her adorable looks and natural acting abilities. Her big break came when she was cast as the leading lady in the Our Gang comedy series in 1935, typically the love interest of Alfalfa or Butch. As part of Our Gang, Darla became an instant sensation. Her infectious laughter and endearing personality made her a fan favorite. She appeared alongside other child stars like Spanky McFarland and Alfalfa Switzer. Darla's talent extended beyond our gang. She also showcased her singing abilities in several musical films during the 1930s and 1940s. Despite being primarily known for her work as a child actress, Darla continued to pursue acting as she grew older. She appeared in various television shows and films throughout the years, always leaving a lasting impression. But tragedy was about to strike. Now let's delve into the tragic circumstances surrounding the untimely passing of Darla Hood, beloved actress and member of the Little Rascals. While busy organizing the 1980 Little Rascals reunion for the Los Angeles chapter of the Sons of the Desert, Darla underwent an appendectomy at Canoga Park Hospital in Canoga Park, California. However, what was meant to be a routine procedure took a devastating turn. An autopsy later revealed that Darla had contracted hepatitis C from a contaminated blood transfusion given during the operation. This unfortunate event ultimately led to her sudden death on June 13, 1979 at the age of 47 due to heart failure. Let's dive into the fascinating career of Billy Laughlin, also known as Froggy from our gang. 
Born on July 5, 1932 in San Gabriel, California, Billy Laughlin began his acting journey at a young age. He joined the Our Gang comedy series, also known as The Little Rascals, in 1934 and quickly became one of its most beloved characters. His portrayal of Froggy, with his distinctive raspy voice and trademark catchphrase, Hiya Buckwheat, endeared him to fans around the world. Beyond his work in Our Gang, Billy Laughlin also had other notable roles in films such as The Pinch Singer and Unexpected Riches. However, his life would have a tragic ending at the young age of 16. In a horrifying accident on August 31, 1948, Laughlin's life was cut short in a devastating collision. While riding on a motor scooter with a friend near his home in La Puente, California, they collided with a speeding truck. Both were run over by the truck. The friend survived, but sadly, Laughlin did not. At only 16 years old, he passed away younger than any of the other actors who appeared in the series. The scooter that he was riding had been given to him by his parents just two weeks prior to the accident. Ah, Bobby Hutchins from our gang. He was quite the little star back in the day. Bobby Hutchins, also known as Weezer, was one of the beloved child actors in the iconic comedy series Our Gang, also known as Little Rascals, which ran from 1922 to 1944. Bobby Hutchins captured hearts with his adorable charm and comedic timing. He joined the cast when he was just three years old and quickly became a fan favorite. His mischievous character added a delightful element to the show, making audiences laugh every show. But he would suffer a terrible fate at the age of 20. On May 17, 1945, tragedy struck when Bobby Hutchins, after joining the Army and attending the aviation cadet program, he lost his life in a mid-air collision during flying lessons in Merced, California. The incident occurred at what is now known as Castle Air Force Base. Bobby's mother, Olga Hagerson Hutchins, had been planning to attend his graduation from flying school at the same airfield the following week. He was only 20 years old. All right, let's dive into the world of Scotty Beckett. Scotty Beckett was a talented child actor who made a name for himself in the popular series. Known for his adorable charm and comedic timing, Scotty brought joy to audiences with his lovable character. Scotty began his acting career at a young age. He joined Our Gang, also known as The Little Rascals, in 1934 and quickly became a fan favorite. His mischievous antics and infectious smile endeared him to viewers around the world. On May 8, 1968, Beckett checked into a Los Angeles nursing home in search of medical help after enduring a severe beating. The details surrounding this incident remain shrouded in mystery to this day. Unfortunately, just two days later on May 10th, Beckett was discovered lifeless in his room at the nursing home. Shockingly, he was only 38 years old at the time of his untimely death. The circumstances leading up to his passing have never been fully clarified. Let's talk about Stymie Beard, a beloved character from the famous series, and he was a talented child actor who stole the hearts of audiences. Stymie Beard's real name was Matthew Stymie Beard, and he appeared in over 30 films as part of the Our Gang cast. He was known for his trademark bowler hat and mischievous smile. As a member of the gang, Stymie brought laughter and joy to viewers through his hilarious antics and comedic timing. His natural talent for comedy made him one of the most memorable characters in the series. Stymie Beard's portrayal of an African-American child during a time of racial segregation was groundbreaking. He broke down barriers and became an inspiration for many young actors who followed in his footsteps. Stymie Beard's life took a terrible turn just two days after his 56th birthday. On January 3rd, 1981, he suffered head injuries from a fall down a flight of stairs, which unfortunately led to a stroke. As if that wasn't enough, Stymie also developed pneumonia during this time. Tragically, his health deteriorated rapidly, and he passed away on January 8, 1981. Let's dive into the world of Kendall Frederick McComas, the talented child actor who brought the character Breezy Brisbane to life in the iconic Our Gang comedies. Despite being in his teenage years during his time on the show, McComas stood out for his portrayal of Breezy, thanks to his shorter stature that perfectly suited the role of a grade school aged character.
McComas, who was once married but ended in divorce, and two weeks before his 65th birthday in 1981, McComas took his own life in a fit of depression. Carl Alfalfa Switzer was an American child actor best known for his role as Alfalfa in the popular Our Gang comedy series. Born on August 7, 1927, in Paris, Illinois, Switzer began his acting career at a young age and quickly gained recognition for his portrayal of the lovable and mischievous Alfalfa. Switzer's iconic character became one of the most beloved members of the Our Gang cast. His signature hairstyle, with a cowlick sticking up in the front, became synonymous with his character's quirky personality. Switzer's comedic timing and natural talent made him a fan favorite. Outside of his work in Our Gang, Switzer also appeared in other films and television shows throughout his career. However, he struggled to transition into adult roles and found it challenging to escape being typecast as Alfalfa. In a dispute over money with a man named Bud Stiltz, Switzer and another man, Jack Piet, went to his home to collect. The two arrived at Stiltz's home. Stiltz shared the home with his wife, Rita Corrigan, and his stepchildren. Switzer and Piot intended to demand money from Stiltz. Though differing accounts of the event exist, all agree that Stiltz was struck over the left side of his head with a glass clock. He later retreated to his room to retrieve a gun, which Switzer wrestled him for. Their struggle caused the gun to discharge and almost shot Tom Corrigan, Stiltz's 14-year-old stepson. In the aftermath, Stiltz's account of the event was one of self-defense, testifying that Switzer had banged on his front door, yelling, let me in or I'll kick in the door. The threat was followed by a struggle that began with one of the men, Switzer or Piot, striking Stiltz with the clock. This prompted Stiltz to retrieve his firearm, which Switzer grabbed for. The gun discharged accidentally, almost shooting Corrigan. Switzer then, according to Stiltz, threatened him with a knife and yelled, I'm going to kill you. Stiltz fired and shot Switzer in the groin, damaging an artery that caused massive internal bleeding. Switzer was dead by the time he arrived at the hospital. Tom Corrigan, the 14-year-old stepson's account, differed significantly from his stepfather's. He told investigators that Stiltz shot Switzer as he and Piet were leaving. After the gun's accidental discharge that almost hit Corrigan, Switzer turned to Piot and said they needed to leave. The two were headed for the door when Stiltz then fired the fatal shot. He also said Switzer never drew a knife as Stiltz had claimed he had. Corrigan was never called to testify at the coroner's inquest and Stiltz testified in his own favor. His testimony was taken to be truthful despite physical evidence that contradicted his account and his past perjury conviction. He was not charged as based on his testimony. It was ruled self-defense. Years later, Corrigan, the stepson, stood by what he told officers had happened that night and said his stepfather did not have to kill Switzer. Robert Blake was known for his role as Mickey in the Our Gang series. Born on September 18, 1933 in Nutley, New Jersey, Blake began his acting journey at a young age. Blake's portrayal of Mickey in the Our Gang series, also known as The Little Rascals, gained him recognition and popularity among audiences. He appeared in over 40 episodes of the show between 1939 and 1944. After his time with Our Gang, Blake continued to pursue acting and took on various roles in film and television. Some of his notable works include roles in movies like In Cold Blood, 1967, and Electra Glide in Blue, 1973, and on the small screen, he played Tony Beretta in the popular television series Beretta from 1975 to 1978. Robert Blake, while his death was not tragic, it is worth mentioning uh, due to the charges he faced for the murder of his wife. In 2001, Blake's wife, Bonnie Lee Backley, was found shot to death in their car outside a restaurant. This led to a highly publicized trial that captivated the media and the public's attention. Blake was eventually arrested and charged with her murder. The trial lasted for several years and garnered widespread media coverage. He would be acquitted of criminal charges in 2005. Public opinion regarding the verdict was mixed, with some feeling that Blake was guilty, though many felt that there was not enough evidence to convict him. Backley's three children filed a civil suit against Blake, asserting that he was responsible for their mother's death. On November 18, 2005, a jury found Blake liable for the wrongful death of his wife and ordered him to pay $30 million. 
On February 3, 2006, Blake filed for bankruptcy. Blake died from heart disease in Los Angeles on March 9, 2023, at the age of 89.